remain standing as the Wicca Marching Prize plays our national anthem. Can you come here with the Wildcat?
I looked early this morning and it did yeah, like 10, 15 percent of my back was that actually changed. Now you heard Coach Schaefer say it's it's going to be the battle on the ground and it's going to be uh, a quick, fast game is what they're planning. We'll see if that still stays the game plan. Yeah, it will be because okay, it'll be interesting to see because Wicko, like I said, coming in, they're going to know what we want to do. So we'll see if they try to pack the box more than what some other, some teams would do and, and, and you know force us to try and go outside with the, maybe uh, our running game or, or, or passing it. So we'll kind of see how, how they defend us. That's going to do it for the pregame show being brought to you again tonight by the Insulation Guys, your hometown certified insulation service provider. And we are going to get ready to kick things off here momentarily. The captains are meeting at uh, midfield. We'll wait and see what the coin toss is. Unfortunately for Whitco, an injury on the Woodlawn Hospital injury report. Injury report being brought to you by Woodlawn Hospital Valet Parking so you don't wear yourself out walking from the parking garage. Number 24, their, uh, one of their big studs, Isaiah Kyles, sidelined with a knee injury. He's, okay. he's on the sideline with a big brace on. And so is uh, their, their sophomore running back, Jack Hill. Okay. He got hurt. I was talking to the coaches. He got hurt the first play of the first game of the year. Oh, jeez. So uh, injury starting to plague the Whitco Wildcats. The Zebras win the toss. They defer, and the Whitco Wildcats will receive. So the Zebras will be on defense. The Wildcats will take the ball as the Zebras will kick off, so we'll get ready to set that for you. Getting the scoreboard tonight being brought to you by Inyard's True Value. Behind every project is a true value. Both teams getting their final uh, instructions from the team. Rainy win. Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight at Whitco High School. Again, other areas games going on. We'll try to pass some scores along as we can get them. McConaughey Northfield, Southwood, North Miami, Tippecanoe Valley, and Peru. Whitco Manchester, Caston Triton, Warsaw Plymouth, and Pioneer and LaVille all in action tonight. The Cal again, the Culver Cavaliers... This is their second week out, so hopefully uh, Coach Zayner and them will be back in action next week. Yeah, you know they've got to be anxious to get back on the field, and especially because now you you know you got they they got they didn't get that preseason. I mean that out of conference game. Right, they're going right into conference. Yeah, so. right into conference now. So the zebras are coming out. They'll set the tee, and this kickoff will be brought to you by Oil Change Express for the carrier your car deserves. 32, Ethan Gilbert, the deep man. And number seven, Tyler Veach back for Whitco. And for Rochester kicking off will be number 12, Mitchell Schaefer. Oh, oh that is that, that is, is right. Yeah. Casting and Triton did get moved to Saturday. My apologies. 
as uh, that is a Saturday morning game. So, all right, Schaefer sets the ball on the tee. Zebras are all ready. And he gets the whistle. Here goes Schaefer. Again, Beach and Gilbert, the deep men. And it's going to go short, and Veach will take it. Veach right back up the middle. He's going to be tackled about the 36-yard line. And that's where Whitco will start first and 10 at their own 36. About, that was a 39-yard kick there, and actually he, he let it bounce. I thought that, that thing could have gone either way on him. Again, first play of scrimmage now for the Whitco Wildcats. Starting lineups being brought to you by the Mantle Moose Lodge Fun Center, 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. We'll set the defense. Swango and Swango, Slosher. Obviously, McKee in the backfield. Fervita also in the back for the Zebras up to the front line. Going to be led by Marshall Fishback, Brady Beck. Up under center, Craig turns to the left, hands the ball off, and it's going to get up to the 40, and that was Gilbert. Gilbert gets they his first carry. Gilbert well, three-yard line. Four, yards four second and six. From ball sitting at the 40-yard line. Yeah, it'll be interesting uh, to see how they, how they use their two quarterbacks. Tackle. Yeah. Be second down and six. Out of the shotgun this time will be Craig. He's got two to the near side, two to the far. Goes in motion. Does Gilbert. Gets the handoff. Gilbert around the outside. Gilbert at the 40 of the Zebras. Finally going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 32-yard line. 27-yard run. First down for the Wildcats. First downs being brought to you this season by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw. 250 north across from Walmart. So they're going to mark him down at the 33 of the Zebras. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Wildcats. You can see there they try to get that outside edge there, and, and, and we didn't close that off in, on him. Craig this time up under center. Twins to the far side. High back formation behind him. And it goes to Craig, or excuse me, to Gilbert again, and he's going to be tied up in the backfield. I think he's they got lose back. Lose about a yard. Well, I think they gave him a nice spot. spot. Use. <laughs> and he does get back yeah. to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and ten. That was a better job of our our defensive line of getting into the backfield and, and causing some havoc there. We have to get rid of our our blocks a lot easier, a lot easier than and, and kind of get in that backfield. So now they send twins to the near side. Twins to the far, single set. Man goes in motion. That's Boggs. Boggs gets a handoff. Boggs goes left, gets tripped up by Slosher at the line of scrimmage. He'll fall forward for maybe one. One? Yeah, yep. third and nine. Nice job by Slosher to get in there and make the tackle. Well, the one thing we've got to do is, is as the game goes on, we've got to stay with our keys because he's going to fake that handoff, and Craig's going to take off with it on this side. So it'll be third and nine now for the Wildcats. 9.45 to go yep. here in the opening quarter. They split everybody out again. Single set. Gilbert comes in motion. Craig back to pass. Rolls through his right side, throws it, and it's going to be incomplete. Knocked down by Slosher. It'll bring up fourth down for Whitco. And Dimming hit him hard in the backfield. <laughs> Slosher able to get his hand up in front of the defense and, and in front of his opponent and knock it down. Yep. Great job by Slosher to read the pass. Yeah, right after uh, he got uh, – Craig got uh, let go of that pass, Deming put his shoulder right underneath his shoulder pads. So it's fourth and nine from the 32. Whitco looking to go for it here on fourth down. Craig out of the shotgun. He's got Veach next to him to the left. Twins each side. 
Looking to come to the near side. He throws it. It's over the top of Slusher, and it's incomplete. And it'll be turnover on down. Zebras hold on defense after they had a big breakdown on that yep. outside. They made the adjustment, and they go four and out there. Yeah, it was a nice job there. Of And, the, you know, even though they they – didn't complete those two passes. Now that makes that makes Rochester. You got to honor that yeah. at least, so that we'll, we'll see if they go back into the running game. We've seen more passes, yeah, already than they've done the other games. We'll see. Zebras up under center. Swango, quick hand off to Deming. Deming around the right side. Deming falls forward to about the forty. Pick up a three, I think. Second and seven now yeah. for the Zebras. And Veach had him. Veach had him in the back in the backfield. It just he just you know you can't arm tackle Deming. Yeah. No. No. Second and seven again for the Zebras. Nine minutes remaining here in the opening quarter. Zebras with their first possession of the contest. Samson comes to the near side. Slosher goes in. Mo- nope, that's Lunau in motion. Lunau. No, that is Slosher coming in the near side. He'll fall forward to almost a 40. It'll be another pickup of about four yards. It'll be third and three now for the Zebras. Those single numbers, five and four. (laughs) Yeah, they are. (laughs) Hard to read. Third down and two. They gave him five yards on that one. Of course, this is all unofficial stats. All unofficial. (laughs) Well, until we get them from the coaching staff. That's right. <laughs> Third and three for the Zebras. Swango hands off to Deming, and he's going to fall forward, and that will be a first down for the Zebras. First down again being brought to you by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw, 250 north across from Walmart. First down, Zebras. And you, you can see it as the first um, series here so far – I've been watching the middle linebackers for Wicko, and they are really keen on where Deming's going. They're trying to shoot the gaps right before the ball's hiked. Swango gets the call from the sidelines. He'll run it back in as the ball's on the far hash for the Zebras. The near hash to us. Swango up under center. Fervita goes in motion. He gets the pitch back. Fervita around the right side. Fervita's going to lose yards as he's tackled at the 40. It'll be a three-yard loss. It'll bring up second and 13. And that was really a nice job there by, by Whitco. They actually, you know, they, they spread that out. They pushed that out, and out wider and let their defense get there. We just got to do a better job of getting that corner. Second and 13 now for the Zebras. Well, they mark it only at the 39, so or 41, so it's just a two-yard loss. Split out to the near side this time is Messinas. Handoff goes right back up the middle and fumble on the floor and Whitco covers it. Fumble on the play. Wildcat ball. I don't think it was a great handoff. Yeah. Not sure what happened there. I'm not even sure who got the handoff for the Zebras. Deming got the handoff. Deming did? Okay. Yeah. Zebra defense now going to need to... Pick it up as they first have it. First and ten now for Whitco from the 41. Well, this is what this is where our defense has really got to buckle down and, and not give up a score here. Out of the shotgun, Craig sends a man in motion, and he does get the handoff to Gilbert. Gilbert tries to turn it up, and he starts to slip a little bit as he turns. He'll fall down to the 40. He'll pick up about two. It'll be second and eight. You know, and coming into this game, Gilbert only had five carries for 17 yards. He already has four carries. (laughs) Well, it makes a difference when your uh, main man is Kyle's and he's out. Yeah. Out of the shotgun again, Craig. He's got Veach next to him. Hands it off to Veach. Veach tries to turn it outside, and he's going nowhere. In fact, he is going to lose about two yards, almost back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third and a long nine. Well, and the the one thing you can kind of pick up, at least the angle I was at, 
they were in their doubles. They were in the slots on both sides, and what happened was there, there's only two options. There. You, you either hand it to Veach or you're going to throw it because yeah. the, the motion guy would have been too far in motion to try to get there. Five and a half to go here in the first quarter. Still scoreless at Whitco High School. Craig out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks to his right. Throws it. Complete. And then he drops it. Incomplete. The intended receiver was Slusher. Pass is incomplete to Slusher. Uh, for Great hits at the point of contact by Swango. Eli Swango. So it'll bring up four down and about nine for the Wildcats. And I think they're going to bring it in near the, the punter. Let's we'll see what the opt to do here. Krebs yep. is in the backfield. Austin Krebs, the Krebs will back okay. to punt. Back deep for the Zebras is Fervida. Or is that Lou now? High punt. And the Zebras are just going to get away from it, and they'll start first and 10 from their own 10. Start on their own 10 yard line. High punt that time gave the Whitco Wildcats great downfield uh, pursuit, and uh, Zebras just couldn't, couldn't get anything going on that, and they stepped away, and they'll start at first and 10. And it looked like it, close that we maybe could have had the chance of blocking that. <laughs> It was a good job of him getting away from it because yeah. he couldn't catch it clean, clean out of the air. Samson to the near side again. Swango up under center. Sends Lunau in motion. The handoff to Deming. Deming around the right side. Deming still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down at about the 15. It'll Deming be a five-yard pickup. Second and five. Pickup of five yards. Well, you can see right now what Wicko's defense is doing. They're really packing that box and, and, and kind of trying to control him, keep him in the middle. 4.50 to go here in the opening quarter against scoreless. Zebras with their second possession. Samson again to the near side. Swango sends Lou now in motion. Hand off to Deming up the middle. Deming falls forward for about a three-yard pickup. It'll be third and two now for the Zebras. We just got you, you got to just keep doing our, our our assignments in there in the middle of blocking because they're they're starting to stunt some of the uh, of the gaps. We just got to stay with our, our control. Swango from the sideline brings the play in. The handoff to Deming around the right side. Deming gets a first down and more and still on his feet. Finally going to be knocked out of bounds. And a flag comes at the end. Could be a late hit on Whitco. Up going to mark the ball at the 28-yard line. So a nine-yard pickup for Deming. And then we'll see a personal foul against personal Whitco. Foul. So I'm guessing that means a late hit. So that'll add 15 yards to it. And the Zebras will be about the – yep, they're going to put it down at the 43-yard line. So a first down for Deming. Again, first down brought to you by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw. And there, there you can kind of see he kind of he hit inside and then bounced it outside. Mancinas to the near side. This handoff this time comes to, that is McKee. McKee turns it upfield and another penalty flag in the backfield. Gavin McKee, the ball carrier. And this one might be coming back. It looks like it might be on the Zebras. Yep. Holding against the Zebras. Pick up a five yards on a play. So that'll take it back to the 38-yard uh, line. So it'll be first and 15. First and 15. 
Yeah, I think we were trying to get that that defensive back to to move inside so he can pump it outside, and we just got to hold the jersey. Messinas goes to the far side. Swango up under center to Deming. Deming turns it up to the near field, and he'll fall across to about the 42. It'll bring up second and 12 now for the Zebras. And they just hit him right at, he just, right at the knees, and he's losing his balance a little bit. If, if, I think on that one there, if he could have kept his balance, he could have gone for maybe seven or eight, eight more yards. Just under three to go here in the opening quarter. Still scoreless here at Whitco High School. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us. Here on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Swango again, up under center. Sends a man in motion. Ball's fumbled. Swango picks it up, and he's going to be knocked down in the backfield. And a big loss for the Zebras is I'm not sure if he was going to hand it off and he just never had it or if he was rolling out to pass it. I couldn't tell. But unfortunately, a big loss for the Zebras. And they mark it back at the 34-yard line. But we did have a penalty flag here on the other. So now it looks like it's against the Zebras, so they're talking to Whitco. Talking to the captains. Oh, no, it's against Whitco. Okay. Whew. I thought he got through that gap pretty quick. Yeah. That was a dead ball. Offsides against Whitco, so that will negate the loss. And they'll march it off, and it'll be at the 47-yard line five of the Zebras, a five-yard penalty. So it'll be second and six now for the Zebras. A little bit more uh, manageable for us here. <laughs> yeah. But we got to do a better job of uh, our line of, of picking up those uh, gap shots. Swango under center. Since for in motion. The handoff to Deming around the right side. He's got room. Deming turns it up. Deming across the midfield. Now down to uh, Whitco territory. Going to be about the 44-yard line. Another Rice-Lincoln first down. Yeah, you can see what he's starting to do now. He's starting to read his blocks and to, trying to uh, bounce outside a little bit more because that's where the lane's giving him. 2.05 to go on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. As the Zebras have their second possession, Whitco punted their second possession. Zebras moving the ball now. Samsel comes to the near side. Deming gets the football right back up the middle, and he's going to be about the 40-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 41. So he'll pick, pick up, up about three, four, three, three yards. It'll be yeah. second and seven. You can see right now, I mean, their inside linebackers are, are shoot those gaps fast and hard. If he can get through that second line of defense, he, he can get, pick up some big yards. Minute 20 in the opening quarter. 13 on the play clock. Zebras are getting set. Plenty of time. Swango up under center. Swango gives it off to either Slusher or Lunau. Looks like Slosher. Slosher, yep. Slosher got that hand up. Picked up about Picked up, uh, three, two, yards. three yards. So it'll be third and about three. And he did a nice job of coming down the line and then cutting it in quicker than trying to bounce it outside. 40 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Swango up under center. Swango to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming will fall forward to about the 35. It's going to bring up fourth and short for the Zebras. As 20 seconds on the clock, we'll see if the Zebras try to get it off, if they're just going to let the clock run out. And I think they're You're gonna just going to let out. it run. Yep. Coach Schaefer says just let it run out. And that's when we'll start to be fourth and about two for the Zebras as we start the second quarter on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero after one. Back with more after this. Zebra football, Giant FM Sports. And, and whew, I don't think he got a very good spot. The side judge, yeah. I don't think he did either. 
And it's going to be short. He, yeah, that was not a very good spot there, I thought. Yep. They said his knee went down, and it's they didn't even measure it, and they say turnover on downs. Score updates with five minutes left in the first, and it's raining in Peru, 2 nothing. <laughs> Must be playing baseball instead of football. <laughs> yeah. 2 nothing Peru, right? Yeah, 2 yep. nothing Peru. So a turnover on downs. We'll give it back to Whitco, and they'll have it right at the 35-yard line. Whitco with the handoff right back up the middle is Gilbert. Gilbert still on his feet. And now the official goes down, so we'll yeah, take a little get, extra time. Getting a little slick with that, that the rain we had before a game. Yeah. So right, four-yard pickup. That carry there gave Gilbert 37 yards on five carries, and he didn't have that in the first two games. So he's trying to make his impact here in, the, in this game. Second and four now for the Wildcats. Zebras shifting on defense. Gilbert goes in motion, and yep, there it is. I was going to say false start. They had like three players moving. So they'll march that one back, and it'll go back to basically the original line of scrimmage. Second and ten now. Wildcats. We'll see if they stick with the same play, or are they going to go with the, maybe a passing play here? Craig this time sends Gilbert in motion. The handoff is to Veach, who was standing right beside Gilbert, and he goes nowhere. In fact, he'll lose some. Yep, he lost he's about a yard. Going to lose uh, another yard. Give him so minus about. one. Loss of a yard on the play, bring up third down and eleven. What they were trying to do there is they were using that motion to fake that 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 jet sweep, and they, they then they brought it back and gave it to Beach to try to come back this way, like on a counter. Two split each way, Veach again standing next to Craig. Gilbert goes in motion. Back to throw is, is Craig and a sack. A sack by the Zebras. And you know what that means? New this year, the That's Zebras, Big Mac sack. Zebra fans, you can buy one Big Mac and get one free tomorrow at McDonald's in Rochester when you show your game ticket or the program. Or if you go on WROI's Facebook page later tonight, we'll have the Big Mac sack up, and you can show that when you go through the drive-thru. Again, the Zebras with a Big Mac sack, and you can get one free when you buy one tomorrow. That was by Deming. <laughs> <laughs> They're back to punt. Back deep is Slosher. Nope, that's Lou now. He's just going to get away from it. Good choice. He took a bad bounce and just kept on rolling, and the Zebras will take over at the 22-yard line. Wow, so that's a 48-yard punt. 56. So the Zebras will take over. Well, this is where you got to stop. You got eight, eight minutes, 50 seconds before halftime here. We need to march this down the field and, and get a score going in before halftime. Back to pass, just over the reach, and the intended receiver as he gets uh, – was that Lunau? Yes. Looked like Lunau as the Zebras trying to spread things out a little bit on that pass. Just a little over the top. Yeah, he, he wanted to throw it a little bit sooner, but it, I don't think the receiver was looking at him, yeah. so he had to hold it for a little bit longer. So it'll be second and ten now for the Zebras after the incomplete pass. Ball sitting at about the 24-yard line. Swango. Since Slosher in motion. 
Ball comes to the near side this time to Lunau. Kind of an inside reverse play oh, there, for, misdirection. Yeah, Lunau. Kind of a change there, trying to mix it up a little bit on the defense. And they did not bite on it as the Zebras will take a timeout. We'll take one as well on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Eight minutes, 20 seconds to go in the second quarter. Still scoreless here at Whitco High School. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. School after the Zebras call the time out. Northfield 7, McConaughey 0. Zebras on the run, and that is Deming. And Deming's at the 30, the 25, the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Alex Deming. Hi, Deming. And we're going to kick it. We're going to try it? All we're right. Try a kick. First attempt this year, the PAT, Parker Wallace, going to try it. Parker Wallace at the attempt the extra point. Swango the holder. The kick is up, and it is good. good. Wallace with the PAT puts the Zebras up 7 to nothing. With 8.09 to go here in the first half. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. Wow. There was no doubt about that kick either. Nope. A, a scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. 76-yard touchdown run by Alex Deming. The PAT by Wallace was good. And the Zebras lead 7 to nothing. Valley now leads Peru 8 to 2. That in the first quarter. Here's the kickoff by Wallace. A little end over end kick. Veach is back to take it. He takes it about the 18 yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 30. And that's where Whitco will take over. First and 10. With just under eight minutes here to go in the first half. Again, Zebras lead 7-0. That was a, ended up being about a 43-yard kickoff, and the same thing, he, he let, Veach let the ball bounce, and it, it, right now it's going right to him. And they'll mark it at the 28-yard line, so that's where Whitco will start, first and 10. I want to thank our fine sponsors, Culligan of Fulton County, Better Water, Pure and Simple. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Just a few of the sponsors for Zebra Football. Craig, this time out of the... Hands it right back off. And ball's loose. Rumble. Zebra say they have it. We'll see. Waiting on the official. If you go and by the reaction. And it is. Fumble. Zebras. Num Lou uh, now with Lou the recovery. Now. So the Zebras now will take over first and 10 at the 27 yard line. I think it was, was that Gilbert who carried it? I think it, it was to Gilbert to handoff. Lou now recovers the Zebra fumble, or the Whitco fumble. Got eight minutes here. Swango up under center. Sends a man in motion. Back to pass. Swango out into the flat to Deming. Complete. No, no excuse me. That is um, McKee. McKee. McKee with a completed Pass. catch. Complete Good McKee. for four yards. It'll be second and six. And that was actually a, a really good uh, ball fake And because I thought he almost handed it off to, to Deming. Deming again in the backfield. Swango up under center. To Deming. Deming right back up the middle. Breaks another tackle. Deming at the 10. Five and touchdown, Deming. Touchdown. They had him at the line. 23 yards. Deming takes the ball to the end zone for a zebra touchdown. They had him at the line, and he yep. just kept those feet moving and it got through the tackle. And that's what he does. He does not stop those legs. You've got to hit him low 
to and and, gra and wrap up his legs to try and stop him and still trying to do that is, is hard. Wallace to attempt the extra point again. Swango the holder. And the kick is up and it is good again. It looks like good again. Yep. So a 721 to go in the second quarter within a minute, under a minute, the Zebras yeah. recover a fumble and strike again. Well, and it's 14 nothing on the Inyards True Value yeah. scoreboard. I think it was 850. 809. 809 when we okay. 809 to 721. So okay. under a minute. And the Zebras put 14 on the scoreboard. We'll keep it here and remind you about Fulton County Best Kick One. Off again, Veach, the deep man, for Whitco. Also back, I believe, is Gilbert. Wallace, another end over end kick. Veach will take it at the 24. Veach tries to go right back up the middle, and the Zebras will gang tackle him, and he'll finally be brought down about the 37, 36-yard line. We'll see where they mark it. That's where Whitco will take over first and 10. Zebras lead on the Inyards True Value scoreboard, 14 nothing. And I have a, uh, there's a, you be getting this for me last year. Northridge 21, Wawasee 0. <laughs> Northridge 21, Wawasee 0. Yes, I, I did get some different ones from you. <laughs> now I know where you got it. So it's first and 10 now from the 37 yard line for the Whitco Wildcats. Up under center is Craig. He does hand it, fumble, ball's loose, and are they gonna give it to Whitco or the Zebras? I think they're gonna say they both had it together and it'll go to Whitco. Second down, yep. Couldn't tell who the ball carrier 35. was. 35. 35, that's Slusher. He quickly got on top of that one, but he one, two, a four-yard loss. Yeah, and it was like, and the the handoff was like he like he didn't like he wanted it. He just kind of like he just kind of yeah. put it in there and second and fourteen now for the Wildcats. Gilbert is back in. Craig out of the shotgun. It comes to the near side now to Gilbert. Gilbert's going to be tackled in the backfield and another loss. Great job by. Uh, that was McKee. McKee flying all over the place. They're going to mark it down at the 29-yard line and a third down at about 18 now for the Wildcats. Zebras yeah. get in the end zone, and now the whole team has come alive. Yeah, they are. The, the, the Divas and backs and the outside linebackers and the ends are starting to pinch, get up the field and pinch them in and, and try to uh, force them back towards our linebackers. Craig out of the shotgun again. Beach stands next to him. Here comes Gilbert. They fake it. Craig keeps it. Goes around the right side. Zebras didn't bite on it. And he's brought down at about the 34-yard line. It'll be fourth down at about 13. Yep, and, and that's the play I talked about there in the first quarter where he faked the, yep. the, the jet sweep and he kept it. And, and we did a good job overall staying home. And they'll bring in the punting crew, and Kreps will step back to punt. And Lunau back for the Zebras. Fourth and about 14. Lunau stands at about the 30. It's an angle kick, and Lunau will just get away from it. And the Zebras will take over at first and 10 from the 24-yard line. 42-yard punt there. 5.04 to go here before halftime. Zebras on offense have struck to the end zone the last two times. We'll see what they do yeah. this time. Because you think about it, I was saying at the 8.50 mark, hey, let's get this, let's get one score before halftime. Yeah. Well, maybe we might get three scores in before <laughs> halftime. <laughs> Zebras will take over again. First and 10. Ball's at the 24-yard line of the Zebras. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight from Whitco High School. Back at Barnhart Field next week. Right now, Deming has 13 carries for 139 yards. Wabash, and then next week, Tippecanoe Valley. Two weeks at home. 
Slosher goes in motion. The handoff to Deming. Deming wide open right up the middle. Deming at the 40, at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Deming. Deming. 76 yards. He matched it. He, he did match it. That's three carries in a row, three touchdowns. <laughs> Wallace will come in for the PAT. Zebra line is doing, I don't know what adjustments yeah. they have made on the sideline, but they are working because the Zebra defensive line is just making huge holes now for Deming. I have him unofficially for 215 yards. Wallace PAT is up and good. Seven, or excuse me, 4.53 to go. It's now 21-0. Zebra's lead on the Inyerts True Value scoreboard. Back with more after this from Whitco High School. Giant FM Sports and RTC. Nothing in a matter of four minutes, three minutes, <laughs> on that scoring drive being brought yep. to you by Rochester Ford. Deming 76 yards to the end zone. The PAT by Wallace was good, and that's where we stand, 21 to nothing. And those kicks by, by Wallace have looked really good. The PATs yeah. looked really good. Kickoff by Wallace, and Veach will have to go backwards this time. Picks it up at about the 15. He's on the sideline, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds just shy of the 30. And that's where Whitco will take over first and 10. That was, a, that was his best kick of the night as a 46-yard kick. Coming up at halftime, we'll have the Dreddy's Place halftime show. Let's hope you'll stay with us for that. Well, the big thing is us scoring so quickly. I hope our defenses are <laughs> tired. Yeah. Well, the good news is some of them are the same ones. Craig. Out of the shotgun. Craig back to pass. Little looper over the top to Veach. Veach catches it up to 30 to 35. Finally going to be brought down at about the 36. Just a little, uh, uh, there's a middle screen, screen pass. Yep. He just, he, and he held on to it long enough just to be able to just kind of do that dump pass over the middle. Second and three now for Whitco. Now Craig will go up under center. High back formation. Twins to the near side. The handoff. Does go back to, uh, excuse me, that is Gilbert. Gilbert around the right side, and he's going to be right at the sticks. We'll wait and see where they mark it. Gilbert, the ball carrier. Looks like it's a little like short. It's going to be a little short. It's going to be third and inches now for Whitco. Pick up two yards. Bring up third down and one. Right now, uh, they took advantage of us really rushing because yeah. <laughs> they knew we were going to they're going to pass, and they did a nice job with the middle screen. Again, twins in the air side eye formation. Craig, the handoff is to Gilbert in the backfield, and he's going to get the first down as he yeah. gains a yard. First down by Warsaw. Excuse me, by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw. That, that, was just his, that was just his momentum. That's their second first down. Yeah. They, yeah, just second first down of the game with three and a half to go here in the third, or excuse me, in the first half. But the problem is we only got three because we keep giving <laughs> the dimming and he keeps scoring touchdowns the past three. Yeah, I haven't even been able to talk about the red zone yet because yeah. we just go from one end zone to the other. So we got to control here, not let them get a, any points on the board before halftime. First and 10 from the Whitco 40. Wildcats up under the center. Craig throws it back to Veach. Veach crosses the 40 and then it hit hard as he gets to about the 43. Three yard pickup. It'll be second and seven now for Whitco. Yeah, you can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to draw us, spread us out defensively, and then cut back in, in, into the lanes here. Got about 240 left in. For halftime. Second and three. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Craig will come up under center. I formation, there's jump on both. We'll see. I think it's on, we yep. jumped, but we didn't cross. So right. then, yep. Procedure against Whitco. So now mark it back five yards. We'll put it on the back side of the sticks. Second and about 12. Second down and 12. Did Val say it was eight to two, Valley? Mm -hmm. My wife still says two nothing. <laughs> so I'm not sure who's wrong. I'm gonna have to ask her. <laughs> I'm staying out of that one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I might wanna go home later. They head off from Craig right yep. back up the middle. He'll fall forward. I think he picked up about three yards there. And get it back just inside the sticks. It'll be a third down and nine as we have an official timeout. Would it be interesting to see if we uh, if we can stop them here if they run it and call a maybe call a timeout to save the see if we can score before half again? Yes, it is eight to two. Eight to two, Tipping New Valley. Lots of turnovers is the report. The handoff around the right side to that is Gilbert, and he's going to be short. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Or that brings nope. up fourth down. down. Sure, that was the, the uh, down marker guy changes it pretty quick over there. So it'll be fourth and about six. For the Wildcats, yep. ball sitting at the 44 yard line. So you're just going to let the clock run. One minute here in the first half. They might go ahead and just take the penalty and then punt from there. Yeah. It looks like what they're doing because their coach is just telling them to stay put. Oh, calls a timeout okay. with one second on the play clock. We'll take a timeout as well with, let's see, 45 seconds to go before halftime. It's 21 nothing Zebras. Back with more Zebra football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. Whitco time out. The Zebras will drop back in, punt receive as Krep will step back to punt. Calls for the ball. It's a low snap. Gets it off. It's a nice spiral kick. Lunau will get out of the way, and the ball will come stopped at about the 15 yard line. Zebras will take over first and 10 from the 15. With 34 seconds remaining here before halftime. Again, coming up at halftime, we'll have the Dreddy's halftime show. We'll talk about stats, catch you up on some other area scores, and we'll preview next week as the Zebras are back at Barnhart Field. It will be interesting to see if we just maybe take a knee. I don't know if we take a knee, but just kind of just run something run up something the middle. And, and, yeah, something easy. Find out. Swango up under center. Swango right back up the middle to Deming. Deming breaks free. Deming is fall forward, and he's going to get almost to 25, just shy. It's going to be about nine yards. Nine and a half. Nope, they're going to give him 10. First down. Okay. Another Rice Lincoln first down for the Zebras. 22 seconds remaining on the clock. Once the chains are set, they'll start it. I think they're going to put time on the clock. They got official timeout. They want some more time on the clock. We're going to put 28 seconds back on the clock. It was at 22, so they'll add six seconds. And then they'll should start okay. on the whistle. He almost broke that run. Yeah, he did. Clock rolls. Swango up under center. Swango to Deming. Deming up the middle. Deming gets across the 25, going to be about the 27. Giving two, it'll be second and eight. 
And that will should do it. Yep, zebras are going to go yeah. to the sideline, and that'll do it for the first half on the Inerts True Value Scoreboard. Zebras 21, Whitco Wildcats 0 here at halftime. When we come back, we'll have the Gerardi's Plays Halftime Show. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. As they deferred in the opening game, the Zebras are back to receive. Prep will get ready to kick off. Prep set the kickoff for the Wildcats. Fervida and Mancinas back for the Zebras. And the kick. Nice end over end kick. Take by Fervida at the four. Fervida across 15, down to the 20. Going to be tackled at about the 23, 24 yard line, and that's where the Zebras will take over first and 10, first possession of the second half. That was a, that was a nice kick. It ended up being a 56 yard uh, kick with about a what, a, almost a 20, a 19 yard return. So let's see here, if our offensive line can really come out because I think a lot of the Whitco people are going both ways. Yeah. And I think we just wore them down there at the end of that second quarter also. So the Zebras will come to the line, Swango up under center, Deming behind him. Swango, and the handoff to Lunau. Lunau around the right side. Lunau breaks free, finally going to be brought down at about the 31-yard line. A big pickup for Lunau on that first carry Lunau, of the third there. quarter. That was, that was a nice block, too, by Deming there. And we actually, you know, we had, we brought our split in out, and Wicko didn't have enough players out there to actually cover that, and someone just jumped from the sidelines to cover him. The seven-yard pickup for Lunau. It'll be second and seven. Samson will come split to the near side. Lunau and Deming in the backfield. Deming gets it this time. Deming right back up the middle, and he's got another Rice Lincoln. First down for the Zebras. And that's going to be brought down about the 35, so about a four-yard pickup. Deming picks up a first down for the Zebras. And that's where we're going to start seeing some, you know, maybe using Deming as the fake and, and hit and using Lunau and some of our other backs on, on doing some counter plays. Swango again up under center. The handoff to the near side in motion. And that's Lou. Nope, that's Schlosser. And Schlosser will be brought down about the 45. Oh, they're going to mark it to 44, a yard short. It'll be second and one for the Zebras. But again, you know, they're using Demi as the lead blocker and kicking um, the linebackers and the ends out and we're able to cut back up inside of there. Second and short now for the Zebras. Clock continues to roll here in the third quarter. Zebras up 21-0. Let's see us to the near side. Fervita goes in motion, and I think he went to, a couple guys went in motion, so it's going to be against the Zebras, a five-yard penalty. That'll bring it back to a second and about five. Zebras back five yards. Yep, I think we kind of, um, I was the, was the, I said motion, so. Okay. Two guys must have been going at the same time. So it's second and five now for the Zebras from the 40. Let's see us to the near side this time. Swango up under center. The handoff to Fervida. Fervida cuts it back up the middle. Fervida. First down, Zebras. Another Rice Lincoln first down. That was a nice job of him just reading the blocks, and then after he's uh, see where the block was going to be turned, he cut back up inside. Big six-yard first down for the Zebras. And I have it's uh, unofficially that was our sixth for the game. Ball sitting now at the 46-yard line of the Zebras. Leading 21 nothing. Rainy wind, Ray Davis. Glad you could join us tonight. Fervita goes in motion. He gets the handoff around the right corner. Fervita cuts it back up the middle. Fervita still on his feet. He's going to finally be tackled in the Whitco territory at about the 44-yard line. And a late flag coming. Wait and see what that one is. I'm going to guess an unsportsmanlike on somebody. The officials talking to Whitco. Yeah, Craig. 
Craig is getting talked to by the official, and I'm going to well, see the, which way it goes. Well, the problem is they've moved the yardage sticks already. Personal foul against the Zebras. Personal foul against, against Whitco. Offsetting. So those will wipe each other out. We'll say first down Zebras. So I'm, I'm guessing there might have been a little talking after that play. A little John at the bottom of the pile. <laughs> so the Zebras have got another first down, and they'll have it at the 44-yard line. Swango under center. Gives it to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming's going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up second and ten. Yeah, they're going to give him a yard on the spot, so it'll be one yard pickup, second and nine now. Yeah, it, we're doing a good job of uh, mixing things things up here, which we have the opportunity to do using our, our different running backs. And 8.40 to go in the third quarter. The good news is, too, just running the ball. The clock continues to roll. They hand off to Lunau around the right side. Lunau kicks it outside. Lunau crosses the... 25 going to be brought down at a, or excuse me, the 35 going to be brought down about the 32. Another Rice Lincoln first down for the Zebras. Nice job by Luna picking up 12 yards there on that carry and then giving us our, our seventh first down of the game. That gives uh, Luna uh, four carries on, he has 26 yards unofficially. Swango getting up under center. The handoff right back up the middle. Deming still on his feet. He's going to be brought down near the 26-yard line. That'll be second and seven three after the seven-yard pickup. Zebra's doing a great job yes. of just mixing it up. The line is doing their job, making the holes, and allowing this clock just to continue to eat away. Swango again up under center. To Deming. Deming turns it back to the, to the near side. Deming still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down at about the 10. Another Rice Lincoln first down. So a 14-yard carry there. And again, they just kind of, they hand it off, and they, they, the, I saw the linebacker just kind of ran right by him, thinking they, they, they'd give it out to our, one of our other running backs. And it looks like we cannot get a first down. Nope, first and goal now. Inside the red zone. Red zone. And that is Fervida, and Fervida will dive forward. He's going to be down about the five. The red zone being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. That's Farm Credit Mid-America, your yep. red zone five. sponsor. Give him five yards there. And he did a nice job there. After he got that, he... he, he got his shoulders turned and got upfield quick. Second and goal for the Zebras. Six and a half to go here in the third. Still lead 21-0. 13 on the play clock as the Zebras break the huddle. And CS goes to the far side. Swango up under center. They hand off right back up the middle. Touchdown, Zebras. Dimming. Touchdown. Rochester. Deming with another five yard run. And that's a nice job by our, our interior lineman there just making that hole for him. Parker Wallace at the attempt extra point. Wallace in for the PAT. And here's the snap. Swango the holder. The kick is up and it is Good. good. 28 nothing at the 614 mark of the third quarter on the Inyerts True Value scoreboard. Back with more after this. China FM Sports and RTC TV4. Back here at Whitco High School, the scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. 
A nice little five yard run this time for Mr. Alex Deming. Puts the Zebras in the end zone. The PAT was good by Wallace. And at 6.14 to go here in the third, it's now 28 nothing. Nice job of coming out second half and just controlling the clock and marching down, putting points on the board. So Wallace will kick off again. Back deep. And it'll be picked up by Craig. Craig has the football, and he's going to be brought down about the 32-3. Oh, my apologies. That was Gilbert. So first and down for Whitco from their own 32-yard line. 16-2 at halftime now. Tipping New Valley over Peru Tigers. Also, LaVille over Pioneer in the second quarter, 7-0. Well, that's the one thing here. See, how, see what adjustments we made at halftime defensively. Craig out of the shotgun. Craig keeps it right back. Oh, and gives it to Veach. Veach was standing next to him, and he goes right up the middle, and he'll pick up a, about five yards. Craig. And when a Whitco player is down, is that Beach? Looks like it could be because it's right where the cramp it up, cramp it up. <laughs> As the uh, trainer for Whitco quickly out there. Yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of players that are going both ways. And After the injury by Veach, he comes out walking on his own. And the handoff, kind of confusion in the backfield by the Whitco Wildcats. It almost went to Gilbert, but it ended up going to 42, and that was Stanson. And he picked up about two yards, so it's going to be third and three now. And Veach is quickly back in the contest. You can see Wicko's trying to use some misdirection plays now, using the guys in, in motion and faking that handoff and then coming back against that motion. Five minutes to go here in the third. Craig out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass, looks to his left, and he's going to get rid of it just in time. But is there Flag. anybody in? Nope. Nobody in the nope. area, and they're going to call it intentional grounding. As Craig almost got sacked. And he just chucked it to the sideline, but officials going to make sure. But yeah, the only person was a lineman over here that he threw to. And what I didn't see is our one of our linemen picked up that middle screen and didn't and didn't let the running back uh, open up. Intentional grounding is the call, so that is a ten-yard penalty and a loss of down. So. That'll bring up fourth down, which it was fourth down anyways, wasn't it? No. Third. Was it? So fourth down and about 15 to go for Whitco, and they'll draw back to punt, and Ludow stands at the Zebra 40. Kreps calls for the ball. Nice end over end kick, and it'll hit at about the 40 and take a Whitco roll, and it'll roll down inside the 20, or yeah, the 25 to about the 20, 22. Two. Yep. And so the Zebras will take over first and 10 on their own 22. Like again, I said, there's a ended up being a 51 yard punt. Because Zebras are giving him some. Yeah. He's got a nice end over end, so when it hits, it rolls, it and the Zebras roll. aren't really getting up underneath that and calling maybe fair catch or 
Yeah, because so you're giving yeah. yourself an extra 20 yards, or the punt an extra 20 yards. Because unofficially, I have him for five punts, 37 yards, 56, 42, 44, and 51-yard punts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zebras haven't caught one or returned one. No. Swango up under center now for the Zebras. The handoff to Lunau. Lunau cuts it back up the middle. Lunau still on his feet across the 30. Still on his feet. Going to be brought down the near the 35. They're going to mark him at about the 36 and another Rice Lincoln first down. Yep, 14 yards there in that pickup. And Lunau hit, the, hit that hit hole the hard. Hard, running. hard and fast. Now what's really, what's really setting up is that the, the defense is keying so much on dimming that we're able to run some counters and, and some other plays that uh, with Lunau and Fervita and getting some big yards. Swango up under center. Messinas split far right. Lunau goes in motion. Back to pass to Swango. Throws over the top and it's complete. And that is. Listen, I'm waiting to see is that. Slosher. Slosher. Slosher with the reception. For and another Rice Lincoln first down. On a big, what was that? 12 yard, 12, yard, 12 yard pass. 12 yard pass. Good job that time by the Zebras. So another Rice Lincoln first down puts the ball just shy of midfield at the 48 of the Zebras. First and 10. Swango up under center. The handoff to Lunau. Lunau kicks it outside. Lunau turns the corner. Lunau still on his feet. And Lunau is going to be brought down near the 40, which will be another Zebra first down brought to you by Rice Lincoln. 250 North in Warsaw. Well, that's the, the his last three carries have gone for 12 yards, 14 yards, and 11 yards. Ball sitting right at the 40 of the Whitco Wildcats. Clock continues to roll. Three minutes to go. 28 nothing Zebras. Lunau, or excuse me. A little confusion in the back. Fervita For does get the handoff. Fervita crosses the 30. Still on his feet. Going to be brought down near the 25 and another Rice Lincoln first down. 15 yard carry there. With a really a broken play in the backfield, it looked like because it kind of looked like they kind of ran into each other, and Fervita the ended up with yeah. it and took off. So the ball sitting now at the 25-yard line for the Zebras at the Whitco Wildcats. And we have Meadows in at fullback. And the handoff comes to was that. Was that McKee? 20? 20. Yeah, McKee. McKee with a nice. Another first down. First down. Yeah. Brought to you by Rice Lincoln. That time a 17 yard yeah. pickup. Or 15, 12 yard pickup, sorry. Ball sitting at the 12 of the Wildcats. Swango up under center. Swango gives it off to McKee. McKee going to be short McKee, of the here. end zone. But it should be a first down. Nope, going to nope. be short. Okay. short. About short. a yard short. So second in about two now for the Zebras. Five at the four. They can get a first down without the touchdown with a minute 15 to go here in the third. Meadows still in. Schlosser with a football. Schlosser cuts it back up the middle, and he's going to be just shy of the goal line, but they are going to give him a first down, so another Rice-Lincoln first down. And it'll be first and goal now for the Zebras. And it was a nice job by him, but he was coming and he cut it back up to the middle. I thought he was going to get in there, yeah. but it was a nice cutback by him. Ball sitting at the one-yard line. Zebras have it with 49 seconds to go here in the third. Threatening to score a one more time here in the third quarter. 
We got Meadows and Lunau in the backfield. Lunau gets the call. Lunau, touchdown, Zebras. Lunau with a one yard run with 31 yep. seconds. Good job, our line blocking there, and then our fullbacks, the combination of Meadows and Deming doing a good job blocking. Wallace will come in for the PAT. Swango again, the holder for the PAT. It's down, kick is up, and it is good again. Uh, kick is good. So with 31 seconds to go here in the third, it is now 35 nothing Zebras over the Whitco Wildcats. Back with more after this on Giant FM Sports and RTC. School, the Zebras strike again with 31 seconds to go before the end of the third. And this scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. Just a one yard run by Lunau this time with a PAT good by Wallace. And it's 35 nothing, but it was Lunau. It was Slosher. Slosher. Fervida. Fervida. There was a pass complete in there. A mix of things in yes. that possession by the Zebras, and it all worked. It is, and, it, and, it's, and it's nice to be able to do that. We can work on some things, build on some things, and with those running backs, give them some confidence. Wallace with the kickoff. Back deep is Veach and Gilbert. Gilbert will pick it up inside the 20. Gilbert still on his feet, trusses the 25, finally going to be brought down at about the 30. Give him a, about 11-yard return on that one. So that's where Whitco will take over first and 10. As the clock continues to roll. Shit. No, they're just going to let it run out. Run out? Okay. That'll do it for the end of the third quarter. At the end of three, it is now 35 nothing Zebras over the Whitco Wildcats. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. As we start the fourth and final quarter here, the Zebras lead 35 to nothing. Whitcoat will have the ball at their own 30. Out of the shotgun, the handoff from Craig, and it looked like it, did it go to Veach? No, that's 45, maybe. Not 45, Friel, Field, Field. Trevor Field. The ball carrier. I believe some substitutions coming in yet yeah. yeah it was feel gilbert back in now second and ten is no gain that time for whitco up under center is craig i formation twins to the near side looking to pass they do to gil or a handoff to gilbert Gilbert then is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes nowhere. It's going to bring up third and ten. It's a nice job over there by our outside linebacker and then our defensive back came up and supported that. No gain. Third and ten now and from 10. the Whitco 30. Again on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. It's 35 nothing. Zebras leading here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick up our defensive numbers when they're running away from us. Yeah. It'll be Craig out of the shotgun. Looking to pass. Low snap. Craig gets it off. A little screen pass to Veach, and they're going to rule it incomplete. Veach got hit right as he caught the ball and wasn't able to even make a step. And it'll be fourth and ten, and Veach is still down. 
And again, that was a nice job there by our defensive lineman who saw that they was running that screen again in the middle and he didn't go for it. He, he, he found the running back. And Veach will get stretched out again, it looks like. Trainer out there. Oh, now it looks like maybe they're looking at the ankle. We'll take a timeout as well with 9.56 to go here in the fourth. Zebras lead 35. After the injury timeout, it'll be fourth and about 14 for the Whitco. I do apologize as well. Uh, Mitchell Schaefer was the last kickoff for the last couple kickoffs for the Zebras. Hard to tell numbers, and I apologize to uh, Mitchell. Mitchell getting some uh, nice kickoffs there as well. The punt rolls dead at the 45-yard line of the Zebras, and that's where they'll take over first and 10. Another four and out for the Zebra defense. Great job. Yeah, it is. We're, we're doing a good job of staying home and, and doing our reads and not getting um, – you know, taking that where they want to, where they want to kind of get us rushing up the field and try and throw the screen behind us. We did a good job of reading that. So the Zebras will take over first and ten. Nine twenty-four to go here in the fourth quarter, leading thirty-five to nothing. Meadows still in the contest. Zebra's getting some substitutions in as well as Beck is coming to the near side. We got Nathan new, Beck. New quarterback, too. New quarterback. Like. New quarterback appears to be, is that 32? Owen Prater? I think so. Prater, the quarterback. Zebra's lose one. It'll be second and 11. Yard on the play, brought down by D. Bog. And second down and 11. I did oh. not catch who ran that. See, Val, did you get who ran that? No. So, Beck again to the near side. Prater, the quarterback, up under center. Comes to the near side. The handoff is going to be... Brought down in the backfield, and that is 11. That's Braxton Messinas. Nope, excuse me, Dylan Hook. Dylan Hook carrying the ball that time. He'll lose three. It'll be thir third and about 13. As the clock rolls under eight minutes to go here in the fourth. Again, 35 nothing. Zebra's lead. Getting some substitution, getting some kids some varsity experience here. Good call by Coach Schaefer. Prater again up under center. Prater. Either like we, kept like it or Bob lost it. it. <laughs> either, either way, he falls on it, and it's going to bring up fourth and about 14. Uh, I think it, it, it kind of hit him in the hands and it, popped, yeah. and it popped right back underneath the center. Ten on the play clock as the Zebras break the huddle now with seven. Two, one, and... I'm going to say there's the penalty. <laughs> Delay a game on the Zebras. We'll march it back five. Our third penalty of the game. Unofficially, because we had the one that was offsetting. So True. So Prater, again, up under center. Prater, the handoff goes right back up the middle. To, to Meadows. To Meadows, and he'll get back to the 40, and it'll be a turnover on downs. And the Zebra defense will come on the field, and the Whitco offense 
We'll have it first and 10 at the 40. Well, I'm guessing defensively, it looks like we have pretty much the the line that it is still the starters, and we might start s slicing some people yeah. in one or two at a time there. Five and a half to go here in the contest. 35 nothing. Zebra's on top of the Whitco Wildcats. Craig keeps it this time. Rolls to his right side. Craig gets hit at the line of scrimmage, and he'll fall forward for about two or three. We'll see where they spot it. Give him two at second and eight. Yep. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight. Again, that was a good job by our, our defensive line there, reading that fake and, and not, not going for it. And then our safety or defensive back, I should say, came up and gave a lot of support on the outside. Post game show coming up at the conclusion of the game, brought to you by Ugly Truck Tree Service. And we'll also choose the Rochester Glass Player of the Games, supplying glass for every purpose since 1956. Craig throws it out into the flat, and it's going to be incomplete. Boggs was the intended receiver. That'll bring up third and eight with 4.25 to go here in the contest. Zebras will move on to two and one and move home next week to take on the Wabash Apaches. Another big TRC matchup. Like you said, they didn't play this week. Yeah, they, they played tonight. Play. Craig out of the shotgun again, looking to throw. Now he tucks it, keeps it, and he's going to be brought down at a, about the 36. It's going to be fourth and about six for the Wildcats. Yeah, that looked like that either was a a called quarterback draw, or he decided I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just going to run with it. Yeah, on his own. Craig. Still in there, so we'll wait and see if they go for it or punt. I'm assuming they'll go for it here at this point. And they do. Out of the shotgun. He's got twins each side. Gilbert goes in motion. Craig back to pass. Craig going deep, unleashes it, and it's overthrown. And they're going to throw a penalty flag. And they're going to be pass interference on the Zebras. And it'll just give them enough for first down. And there's the call, pass interference on the Zebras. And they'll mark it down at the 15-yard penalty and give a Wildcat a first down. First down, Rice Lincoln first down at the 21-yard line. Clock continues to roll here at 2.20 to go here in the contest. And that's the first time they tried to, to go deep on, right. on the sidelines against us. Craig is under center this time. I formation, twins to the far side. The pitch to the backfield, and that is Gilbert. Gilbert on the left side, and he's going to be brought down at a, about the 20. Give him one yard. It'll be second and nine. Gilbert, the ball carrier. Again, our I, I know I keep saying this, but our, our line is, is spreading that out, and our linebackers are coming up and scraping and, and getting that tackle almost for losses. Minute 45 to go here in the contest. And you know Coach ba Basham. He wants a shutout. <laughs> 2017, according to Val, was the last shutout by the Zebras. Craig out of the shotgun. Craig back to pass again. Looking, looking. He's got flushed out of the pocket. He tucks it. Now he's looking to throw it, and he tucks it again. He crosses the 15. Going to be down about the 10. And they're going to say first down. No. 
Picked up just enough for the first down. 60 seconds remain in the contest. First and 10 for Whitco, because it's at the 11. And that's their second first down of this half. Four for the game. Again, out of the shotgun, Craig goes to Gilbert. He's going to be hit at the 10. So no game. They might give him a yard. It looks like he's on the other side of the 10, so okay. it'll be second and nine. 30 seconds to go, and Whitco will call a timeout to stop the clock so they can try to get it into the end zone. Gives me an opportunity to remind you about our sponsors for tonight. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester. Going beyond the expected for you. Full County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle. Steve Moore Insurance. Small town, big service. Heisman for Sheriff. Community, integrity, commitment. Dreddy's Place. Home of the Other Side Grill and the Arlington Banquet Room. As well as Oil Change Express. For the care your car deserves. Farm Credit Mid-America. Securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. Pulaski Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers in your true value. Going beyond, behind every project is a true value. Ugly Truck Tree Service, no truck is too small or too big. And Rochester Glass, supplying glass for every purpose since 1956. The Ugly Truck Post Game Show will be coming up at conclusion, and we'll choose the Rochester Glass player of the game coming up as well. After the timeout, Craig will have it second and nine. Craig looking to throw, rolls out of the pocket. He's got open field, he tucks it, and he's going to be short. No nope, touchdown. touchdown. They do give it to him at the last effort. Touchdown, Wildcats. A nine yard run. He did a nice job of, of, of reading that. They kind of sent their, their running back and receivers to the end zone and it opened up that wide side of the field for him to be able to read that. And let's see, I assume they'll go for two, maybe. Nope, that's the ball game. We're not gonna get the opportunity. The final score tonight will be 35 to six. Zebras will win it. Zebras move to two and zero. Oh. Whitco Wildcats fall to zero oh and three. When we come back, we'll have the Ugly Truck postgame show. Again, the final from Whitco High School. 35-6, Zebras win it. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4.